what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more the walking dead you guys asked for it so i'm here to do two more episodes for y'all today um i think maybe after this season i'm going to take a little a small break from the walking dead now i'm saying this if you're not watching the intro you're not going to know this okay so at the end of this season i'm probably going to take maybe two weeks to a month from watching the walking dead i'm saying this now so that you don't see no walking dead episodes after this season you understand that i said it but if you do then whatever plans may have changed but things are coming up things are kind of getting back to normal we're kind of out of quarantine where i live so i'm planning to spend some time and getting you know my business back up and running and shit you know what i'm saying gotta do what i gotta do okay so i just want you guys to know from the get-go that i'm going to be taking a break from the walking dead um it's not necessarily going to be a long break but after this season i usually take a week break after i finish season but i haven't been doing that with the walking dead um you know just to kind of make that season kind of marinate and you know think on it of what happened and stuff like that like i just i i don't just watch series like this like uh, sometimes i do straight 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 but for the most part i don't so i'm gonna be taking a break before we start season eight okay it may be two weeks or more but i'm gonna dedicate that time to getting my business back up to speed because they have opened up back that part of town so if you don't see your boy you know what's happening okay so um so i'm trying to get season seven done for y'all as quick as possible it's the same amount of episodes i think um as last season so let's jump into it let's talk about it so season seven episode one has come to be known as um either the best or the worst episode of television in the history <laughs> of television i've gone around i've looked at other people's reactions of this episode and man it re i can see how it could tear a community apart you get what i'm saying i could see that um you know some people have said they love my reaction to it um some people have said they thought i would be more torn up by glenn's death and said that i was more upset when i thought he was dead the first time you get what i'm saying my thing about the the um that kind of stuff when it comes on to um how glenn died how Negan killed him. It was unexpected. I did not expect him to go for Glenn. And that's why I reacted the way how I reacted. You know, some people have cried and stuff like that. Like, I don't know what to say. I didn't, I didn't cry because at the moment when I'm, when I was looking at it, all I could feel, I could feel like he was bashing my head in. You know what I'm saying? So, but you can see from my reaction that I was just, it's like I was feeling the pain. You know what I'm saying? I lowered my head as if he hit me, you know? And then when I realized it was going I was like, yo, this scene must be something of legend at this point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's gruesome, you know, it's gruesome. You know, some people, I've watched certain reactions of people talking about it. And, and, you know, some people were so upset they stopped watching the show. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't have to do that and all of this other stuff. Listen, man, it's TV. Yes, we get caught up with these characters. Sometimes we cry. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I've seen some really gruesome deaths. I mean, if you guys watch Breaking Bad, I mean, when dude blew up and blew off half of his face, you get what I'm saying? That was gruesome, too. That was on AMC. So I don't understand for some people to be saying that was it. It was brutal to the point. I'm not saying that what happened in Breaking Bad was more brutal. I'm saying... 
um you can't say that gore like this has never been on TV before. I'm like, what, you know, I've seen it. I've seen it. You get what I'm saying? I've seen people get beat to death before. A lot of people who have probably never seen these things before, it's it's a, it's a shock thing for them. They can't believe that they would do that to a beloved character that's been coming from season one, has grown into a very beloved character in the series, to get killed in front of his wife, and all this other stuff, I totally understand. But I'm going to go as far to say it's not necessarily anything new. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it was way over the top, in my opinion. It went to the point where the scene was so chilling. Like, my blood was running cold in my body because I'm like, what if that was me? You know what I'm saying? Like, it was crazy. But as I said... You know what I'm saying? I didn't expect it to be Glenn. I thought he was going to kill Daryl. I, I was watching. I was like, shit, is he going to kill Daryl? In a scene like that, I can't even commentate about anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just got to just watch it and take a, and take it in. Or hide from it. Or, you know what I'm saying? I, in some ways, I didn't even really know what to do with myself, to be honest. And, you know, only thing I could do is like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro the scene was chilling it was gruesome you know it was bad it was bad it was really really bad especially the part when he was beating the head in and you saw glenn still twitching like bro that was that was crazy that was crazy so we're gonna be watching this episode man episode three of season seven let's see what they got in store if they're actually going to show us the aftermath you know of what happened so let's go watch that i'll see you guys for the review okay so season seven episodes three to five very good three episodes i'm um, glad i watched the third one to kind of get that one out of the way enjoyable episode nonetheless but um, good to get that one out of the way. You guys said the series kind of slowed down. You know I like, you know, the planning, the build-up. I like that. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have no problem with that. You know, a lot of people have been saying in the comment section that season 7 and 8 is really slow. The series picked back up in ep season 9. I don't exactly know what they mean by that. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know exactly what they mean by slow if it's like not enjoyable s slow some people have said that the story is kind of all over the place um they don't really like it and all of this other stuff i'm gonna watch it nonetheless and i will have my evaluation of the season um you know henceforth i will so don't have to worry about that i'm not worried about um you know when people tell you that something is wrong with a series, seasons or episodes or whatever the situation is, for a reactor like myself, it it's a really challenging thing because now I'm going into the seasons with a certain kind of expectation. Like I'm expecting it to be bad <laughs> in, a, in certain ways. You know what I'm saying? And it kind of in certain ways also spoils the experience for the reactor i'm not saying you guys can't do that but i would say if you're going to say that things is things slow down right um if you're going to say that don't say it in such a depressing way in the comment because then it, then you know what i'm saying i can block it out but i don't think most reactors can do what I do like I can block it out and still have an evaluation for myself based on what I'm seeing and watching some people I think most people is not able to do that they'll go in there and be like oh you guys were right already off the bat it's the same thing with Game of Thrones when a lot of people said the series is no good after season four right and I was like are you kidding me you get what I'm saying yeah I understand a lot of people were upset about the Dorn timeline and all of this other stuff that happened that it wasn't in line with the books and all of this other stuff but as i told them before when i was watching game of thrones i told the audience you know i told them i'm like listen 
the books are the books, the show is the show. You get what I'm saying? Um, I didn't take any, I, I did compare some things from, you know, from what I've, you know, watched about the books, people saying how things were different and stuff like this. And I, you know, I have said they could have included this stuff in the show. It would have been much better. The storyline would have been better. No doubt about it. I agree with you on that point. But at the same time, the show is still the show. You got to take it for what it is. There's, I don't agree with everything that happened in Game of Thrones, but I never said, oh, they should have done this or they should have done that. I can't evaluate that based on the books, but I can evaluate that based on on the show itself i can say they could have done this better or they could have done this better this storyline didn't make any sense all of this other stuff based on just the tv show right so because there are details that i learned about the books that i think would have done well in the show but they didn't do that so oh well you know um still a bad ending but you know i'm just saying this to let you guys know that you know um telling me you know, it, it in certain ways, it kind of lowers expectations. And, you know, me going into a season like, I, okay, season eight is going to suck. You get what I'm saying? But I don't think, I don't think like that. I don't mind you guys doing it because I don't think like that. I hope you guys don't do this to other reactors because it's not cool. You get what I'm saying? For, for the most part, it's, it's not a cool thing to do i don't mind you guys doing it over here giving me a heads up on if seasons are going because i'm going in there with a clear mind anyways i clear my mind for every single season of tv show i watch and give it a chance i just finished watching um viking season six episode two and i was like okay they're kind of trying to bring things back together i hated episode one of season six for vikings literally hated it but but episode two i was like okay seems like they're Taking your time, bringing things back together. Um, who knows what's going to happen in episode three? I don't know. But that's what I'm saying. From all the reports and stuff like that, what people were telling me, hey, the series slowed down a lot. And I saw it play out. And I had my opinions on it. But I'm still, I'm not going to stop watching because, you know, you said I watch it, you know. But as I said, you guys can do it here. I don't have a problem with that. So if you're watching this review and you're one of those people that leave those kind of comments, if I don't ask, you don't need to tell me, <laughs> okay? But at the same time, do you? You know what I'm saying? Do you? It doesn't affect me at all. I'm just saying, I'm just talking about it because um, I see it popping up a lot. People having discussions about it in the comment section. And I'm like, really? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you know, it's not going to matter. You get what I'm saying? I get it. You know what I mean? But I'm still going to have my, my own personal opinion about the seasons. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You might be watching it over now. And you and the way how I'm describing it, I'm commenting on it, it might be enjoyable for you and change your experience. And that's why you got to allow reactors to just do their thing. Okay? So that's all I have to say about that. Um, sorry it took five minutes for me to explain that. But in other words, when it comes on to the three episodes we just watched um episode f five was pretty straightforward right pretty straightforward i enjoyed it um i'm a little bit worried about jesus and carl right now at the end of the episode of them trying to figure out where negan is right which they nobody knows where he actually lays his head so maybe that can give them an, an advantage for plans later you know, um, but the most interesting episode was episode four to me between these three, um, you know, just seeing the aftermath and them come in for the first time to Alexandria and how it, it turned out with Rick just being defeated. You know, at times he wanted to to really take out Negan, you know, but they're probably I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Negan keeps a piece on him. I don't know. You know what I mean? So, um, I asked you guys during the reaction, what would you guys do if you were in that position? And I'm pretty sure, yeah, you know, at the same time, you're thinking about other people. And that's what um, Rick is really thinking about is like, I'm thinking about other people. You get what I'm saying? Uh, because if I do this, you know, you know, um, they might kill Carl. They might kill Judith. They might kill Michonne. You know, that's how Rick is thinking. And I, get that part of it you know what i mean so um 
you know, Michonne was practicing with a sniper rifle to see if he could take Rick out, but she sucked. But the thing about it, when you're using a sniper rifle, it is not a good idea to be standing, period. And that's what she was doing. That's why she couldn't hit those shots. That's one of the reasons why she couldn't hit those shots. You got to be, when you're using a sniper rifle, you need to be on your stomach. It's one of the safest way and the steadiest way to get a steady shot. So you you kind of curve a lot of that recoil. I have not, listen, I've never shot a gun in my life. I've never shot a gun in my life. But I know these things because I've been around a lot of military people. You get what I'm saying? And I've had these discussions. I've asked these questions. Michonne is out here acting like she's in Call of Duty. That shit don't work in real life. You can't shoot sniper rifles like that. You get what I'm saying? Unless you are a very good shot. You get what I'm saying? So the safest, well, not the safe, I shouldn't say the safest way, but the more precise way of shooting a sniper rifle, I know for a fact, gotta be on your stomach. Gotta lay down, you know, breathing techniques, all of that stuff. Wind, all of that stuff comes into shooting a sniper rifle. You can't just shoot a sniper rifle like that and you know what i'm saying i don't know if it was a marksman rifle it could have been um I, I don't quite know that much about guns to to be sure but it looked like a sniper rifle it could have been a marksman marksman rifle too um you know cause those are more easier to handle they're lighter you know what i'm saying like a winchester or something like that um you know, and this is just from me asking people questions about guns. <laughs> I'm serious. This is me and just sometimes doing even my own research on guns because that's a subject that I, you know, talk to with people from time to time. I've just never gone to a gun range or I don't own a gun or nothing of the sort. So um, that was just wrong. She can't do that. Maybe if you guys have better knowledge than me, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But from what I know. And from what I've asked about and military people has told me this is like because, you know, at one point I was considering going to the army after I left military school. So I asked a lot of questions. And one of the things that I always wanted to do if I ever went into the army was be a sniper. I wanted to be a sniper. So I've always asked questions about sniper rifles, you know. You know, if it's a hard thing to do or easy thing to do, I've always asked, you know, so I just have a certain amount of knowledge about it. And this is from people who have actually shot those guns. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, it is what it is. But I'm a, I could be wrong if you guys can tell me I'm wrong, you know, you know what I'm saying? So. um, So, yeah, man, I understand what they're going through. I really do. But I want to see them put a plan in motion. At least Carl is kind of taking initiative. I don't like that he's doing it without Rick's approval or Michonne's approval or none of them know. You know what I'm saying? And then Enid had to lie that she came with him. You know, but Jesus is there with him. So I kind of feel a little bit better about it because Jesus is there with him. Um, so, you know, I was a little bit worried when they came into the house. because I was, Oh, shit, this nigga this dude is gonna give up maggie and sasha right now and i don't i just don't like him gregory is a bitch bro like let's just be honest man the dude is a straight up bitch man and i just can't understand why is it he can't wrap his head around just trying to at least trying to save people he just tries to save himself in every situation it doesn't matter i'm like Bro, if they find, look at the ripple effect that you would have caused. If they find Maggie, they're going to kill you because you guys colluded to take out the apples. It's going to just be more questions to answer and you're probably going to end up dead. Or everybody at the hilltop is, is going to get killed because of this. So just keep your mouth shut. Just do what you got to do. Let them take what they got to take. And just because you're not the type of guy I expect is going to fight back. You're not going to fight back. You're just going to get killed and just give up everybody else. So you're just not that guy. Okay? We get that. Um also, you guys have told me that I was right about this guy um that came in that he actually did um uh, play Trevor in GTA 5 cuz I was like they look way too alike, you know what I mean? So um his likeness and everything does 
they just look way too alike. He acts like him too in certain ways. Not as crazy as, as Trevor was in the actual game, but you can see the likeness, the mannerisms, everything. I'm pretty sure they mo they mo capped them. So that was pretty cool. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. These episodes were great. I loved watching them. Um, got a couple more reactions I got to do today. Um, so I got to go do that. But I'm enjoying these episodes. Um, you know, bro, Spencer's a bitch, too. I, I can't stand his ass. Like, you know, he cool and all. And I understand where his frustration is coming from. But at the same time, he's just, he's, you know, Rosita wants to make bullets. Because I was wondering what's going on with that. You know what I mean? So we'll see how things go, uh, how they're going to manage things going forward. Um, but for now, guys, just remember, man, just don't hype up too much seasons and don't downplay too many seasons. You get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to give you my opinion anyways. And I don't want to have I don't want to go into any seasons with with um, a certain type of expectancy. And, you know, I'd rather go in with a high expectancy and then be let down than going there with a low expectancy and you know what I'm saying and then it's a low expectancy it's just like okay I'm gonna you, you get what I'm saying I'd rather go in and be like yo this season is gonna be fire and then it's like okay it wasn't as fire as I wanted it to I'd rather it that way but anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in as always I said, I'm not bashing okay so don't take it personal you know don't take it personal you know thank you guys also for all the support you show on the last video um i think i think that um that reaction has gone up to like um uh, i think it's like it i know it's over 300 views which never happens on my walking dead reactions so that was pretty cool to see i guess a lot of people um are still like looking for people who are reacting to that even now so that was pretty cool to see that it went way over the average so that was pretty cool i like that um, so thank you guys so much. If you stuck around and you're watching this reaction, I appreciate it. Consider subscribing to the channel, of course. Leave a comment in the comment section, and I will catch you guys later, man.